Good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you some new collections that are from Ciao Bella. Um, you may have noticed that I just released a project using my first year from Ciao Bella, but we haven't actually done a complete reveal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys now. I'm not going to open every single package, but I am going to go through volume one of the 12 by 12. And then I want to let you know in this particular collection, there is a lot being offered. So they're offering it in the six by six. There's an A4, which has nine double-sided papers. And I did use this in the last project. There is a My First Year 12 by 12 Volume 1, Volume 2, and then a 12 by 12 Patterns Pad, which is awesome. Um, it, it reminds me more of like a graphic 45 Patterns and Solids that goes with their collection pad. So um, Volume 1 has the elephant um, as a main feature, and Volume 2 has the giraffe. And then the Patterns and Solids have the balloon, which is the... Uh, image that I chose to use for the outside of my box on the project because I wanted to make it more gender, gender neutral. So let's go ahead and flip through this. So there's page one. So there's lots of cut aparts here. And of course, if you get the A4, it's loaded um, with cut aparts, um, which I used um, all of these in the project and, and lots of these elements in the projects and some of the tags. Um, so there's lots of cut aparts, makes for great pack if you're a card maker because you've got all these beautiful uh, cut aparts that you can layer and add dimension on your cards. These make for great card toppers. So you can see there's just tons to do with the A4. Okay, enough about that. Uh, here we go. So you'll see some of the same similar images, uh, different scale depending on which pack you're working with. <clears throat> there's the elephant. So cute. My first bath. And these are just beautiful pattern papers. I use this as well on the cover or the lid. Cute giraffe. This is so sweet. I love the little bows. It's very pretty. Lovely, lovely. More cut aparts, tags, and a nice pattern on the back. There's those balloons. Love them. And here's our monkeys for our, I'm one year old to so our birthday party. And then this is nice, especially if you're doing 12 by 12 layouts. Um, I chose to do uh, basically a six and a half by six and a half mini album in a box. So this wouldn't work for me, but you could even just use the month tags, you know, as part of your, a tab in a smaller album. Lots of beautiful things to cut apart. These are so cute. Cute, cute. Me and my family. That's a nice one. And then a page of cut aparts with a pattern on the back, which I really like this pattern. This um, is not really a pink, it's a peach, so it's a little bit more subtle than a pink would be, um, but I think it works out beautifully. And then we've got these apples. And here's our first, it looks like outdoor lunch. I keep wanting to say barbecue, but that's spaghetti, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's very cute. Um, so that is the 12 by 12 volume one. And here is volume two, and I'm going to bring it up for you guys so you can see. Um, I talked about, um, I just answered somebody on YouTube, and I used one of each one of these packs for my project, and I, I used everything with the exception of this because I, I couldn't figure out how to cut it apart into the smaller form and make it work for me. And if I recall correctly, the flip side of that is not a pattern, but I can't remember. Um, but I did wind up, you know, using all of the 12 by 12s. I think I had three sheets that I did not cut into and that was one of them. So you will need a lot of paper because there's 12 pockets in that project. Okay, and then here is the eight double-sided pattern papers. And as you can see, there's a repeat of some of the patterns that you see in the other 12 by 12, which for me worked great because I had a box that had four sides. I didn't have a cover that had a front and a back. I had four sides that I was trying to coordinate. And because this pattern uh, is in the Patterns and Solids pack, it's also in volume two. Um, I was able to use the, the papers from both of these to get my cover um, 
to match all the way around. I didn't use that pattern, I used the balloons, but you get the idea. So um, in the packs, just like in Stamperia, you don't get two of each pattern, you just get one. So that is the 12 by 12s um, of the Chowbella my first year. Now, in addition to that, we have um, this beautiful rice paper um, that Chowbella makes for their collections, and they're just gorgeous. I really don't know what to do with rice paper. I I know people have used it for their covers. At some point, I think I want to try to open one of these packs and figure out how to do a project with it and then share with you guys how I'm using it. But by all means, anybody who's using rice paper and can help us, please comment in the video uh, below the video so people can learn from your experience. Okay, the next thing is, this is called Delta. And I think this is really pretty. And I didn't open it ahead of time, so you guys are going to get to open it with me. We're going to unbox it together. <clears throat> this is a very masculine collection, I think. Um, and you know they're very rare <laughs> in scrapbooks. So, so um, you've got the Delta here. You've got some frogs, birds, geese, horses, a little bit of everything. And, of course, water. Take me to the river. Nice. I like this. This is a nest. That's very pretty. And some fish. This is a very strong statement. Just that bird. I could see uh, using that as a very decorative piece. And then the flip sides are really pretty too. This is a nice pattern. Where it's kind of repeated. And that, that is just so stinking cute. And lots of cut aparts as usual. Um, Chow Bella is a, if you like to fussy cut, it's your dream collections because they really give you a lot to work with. I like these metal brads that they and buttons that they've put on here. I think they'll make for really interesting elements to layer on top of your collections. The belts are pretty cool too. This would make a nice trim piece. So these would look good on a spine. And that's always fun. I think envelopes are really cool. But if you don't, if you're not a fussy cutter, you still have this beautiful pattern paper on the back to use. It's lovely. Okay, and then this is what I consider to be a card topper because they're what are they? Four by six. Yeah, four by six. So they're very traditional card size. So if you wanted to whip a quick card out to somebody, these are awesome. It's so easy to do. And it still looks custom. Again, these are four by six here as well. Postcards. I, and if I made a card, I might want to do that on the outside, this on the inside, put my sentiment there. <clears throat> this is beautiful. And there's, you know, I'll pull it up. There's some images, really light images, stamped into the background that make it very interesting and give it a lot of depth. <clears throat> might be tempted to wrap my spine in this burlap and then have pattern on the rest of it. Lovely. I love plaid, so I can always use that. Okay, so that is the 12 by 12 collection pack of Delta. So I want to point out, I didn't bring them all in, but Delta has a 12 by 12 collection pack. It has an A4 it has uh, rice papers, it has six by six. So basically, I think Delta has like 10 items uh, in the collection. So head on over to Scrap and Create at www.scrapandcreate.com and if you type in the search bar, which is on the landing page in the upper right hand corner next to the, um, the handbag or the cart, um, if you type in Delta, it'll pull up every element in the collection. You can see them all. And if you drill down on any one of those, you'll be able to see every single page in the collection. So we do a good job of uh, trying to make sure that every image is available so you can see it uh, prior to buying it. And then this is the rice paper. And the rice paper here is A4, but if I'm not mistaken, I think we also have it in 12 by 12 but I'm not sure. You need to check that out. I, I looked at it and I can't hold a thought, so I'm not sure anymore. I don't want to, 
I don't want to say that we do, but we definitely have it in an A4. And then the last one is called Blue Note. And I want to keep calling it Jazz just because of the images, but it's called Blue Note. I should have opened these before I got in front of the camera, but look how pretty this is. This is very pretty. I can see um, a New York trip being put in here or Chicago, um, any place where jazz is, you know, even New Orleans, right? Um, a big part of it. There is a lot of New York stamped throughout the collection, but it's easy to work around if that's not uh, where you're at. Like if you weren't in New York, you could easily cut out the New York City transit and just do the subway for any major city. And then you got a sheet of music here. And these are, what are these? Six by six, or they're probably about five and a half by five and a half because of the border. They're pretty. I like the piano keys down here that are kind of jagged. <clears throat> Beautiful. The colors are really, I really like that really saturated so it's very pretty that's nala she's ready to go on her w-a-l-k which i can't say out loud <laughs> okay more 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 very pretty i like this a lot i would probably fussy cut that out and figure out how to pop it up and make it kind of interesting so the bronx kind of birds so lots of interesting elements to layer. And then your typical ta tag page with some sentiments, which Chabella always does. So there's lots of things to cut apart. These are two typical four by six card toppers. That's very pretty. Oh, look at these. I mean, oh. I hope it's coming through. I know that I've got a little bit of daylight and studio light going on, but I know that the camera never does it justice. These are really, really pretty. And then here's our, okay, the last uh, part is our A4 rice papers. So there's these four images. Okay. So like I said, head over to Scrap and Create, www.scrapandcreate.com. And in the upper right hand corner next to what looks like a handbag there's a search bar and if you type in uh, the name of the collection in this case it's blue note all the elements of this collection will come up i think there's 10 or 11 and there's also two page packs that are um, really designed for card makers and then the second collection um, that we went through is delta so again if you type in delta in the search bar you'll get all the elements and again there's 10 or 11 in this and of course chow bella which we went through and chow bella has the most um elements in the collection this is the first time we've seen chow bella do a volume one volume two we've seen him do um a 12 by 12 and a patterns but we haven't seen a volume one two and pattern so i i like it i hope this is a trend and they're moving in that direction um because it gives you a lot to work with okay everybody thanks for tuning in this is daphne from scrap and create thanks for sharing your time with us this morning and uh, let us know which one of these is your favorite in the comments below and anybody out there that's using the rice paper and can give us some hints on how you're using it what kind of projects you're using it i'd love to hear from you thanks again everybody this is daphne from scrap and create be back soon